Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you well from wherever you watch this channel. Uhuru Mujie Kenyatta has found himself between a rock and a hard place. And this is because the state house has devised another way of dealing with the Jubilee issue. Mind you, David Murade in the previous press statement said that there are people within this Uda government who are hell-bent in making sure that Jubilee party gets finished completely. So initially it has been said that the Office of Registrar of Political Parties that is being managed by Andiretu has been used by the state house to frustrate Jubilee Party. Even there's a time during the nomine or during the voting of the or determination of minority and the majority swings, the office of the Registrar of Political Parties was again used to achieve that agenda. That is why as me I was not given the chance to front a majority leader, whereas that position was behind the scene channel to Kenya Kwanzaa. So the latest move here, which is seeking to belittle Uhuru Mge Kenyatta, is the move that Andiritu has written a letter, and the chairman of a committee within Jubilee has also written a letter to Uhuru, Uhuru Mge Kenyatta. The idea behind this is trying to make to make Uhuru Mge Kenyatta look junior, to look like a junior person. Whereas we know that Uhuru Mge Kenyatta is the former president of this republic. So the chairman, that is Nelson Zuya, and the Office of Registrar of Political Parties, we are talking about Anderitu, they have jointly wrote a letter to Uhuru Mge Kenyatta. Let me share with you a small story from one of the leading media stations before we go on with our analysis. Na mtazamaji baada ya taarifa hiyo ni kwamba Rais Mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta amejipata kwenye kurunzi na hatua atakazochukua kwa sasa huenda zikawa na athari kubwa kwenye rekodi yake ya siasa. Kenyatta yupo kwenye njia panda kuhusu kujibu au kutojibu barua kutoka kwa msajili wa vyama vya kisiasa na nyingine kutoka kwa kamati ya kutatua masuala ya ndani chamani jubilii zinazoshuku nafasi yake ya kiongozi wa chama. Iwapo Kenyatta atajibu barua hizo basi wa sifu wa jamaa aliyekwea mlima wa kisiasa na kuwa rais kwa mihula miwili itashushwa ilhali asipojibu huenda akawapo wanomchimba fursa nzuri ya kumpokonya chama huyu hapo manhabari wetu Ibrahim Karanja na taarifa hiyo Walafiche katika barua mbili zilizoandikiwa Rais Mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta ni ubabe wake wa kisiasa kuwekwa kwenye ratili katika barua ya kwanza kutoka kwa msajili wa vyama vya kisiasa Anderito Kenyatta anatakiwa kutoa majibu yake kuhusu hatua ya mrengo wa Kanindikega kumfurusha kutoka kwa ofisi ya kiongozi wa chama ana hadi Jumatatu tarehe 14 mwezi Mei kutoa majibu yake Barua ya pili kwa Kenyatta ni kutoka kwa kamati ya kutatua masuala ya jubilii inayomweleza kuhusu malalamishi fidi yake aliyotolewa na mwenyekiti Nelson Zuya na anatarajiwa kutoa majibu kufikia Jumapili tarehe 13 mwezi huu wa Mei. Barua hiyo inasema Kenyatta atapewa fursa kufika mbele ya kamati hiyo kujitetea. Jinsi Kenyatta atakavyoupita mtihani huu itakuwa ni historia ya kudumu kwa rekodi yake ya siasa haswa wakati huu anapopigania chama chake cha Jubilee. Kupitia mazungumzo ya simu na Nation, naibu mwenyekiti wa chama cha Jubilee David Murave amesema Kenyatta hatojibu barua hizi kwani huko ni kujishusha ngazi. Murave hapo jana alisema kuwa vita hivi vya Jubilee vinapangiwa ikulu ya rais dhidi ya Kenyatta. Kwa sababu tulifukuza yeye kutoka chama ya jubili sasa anataka kutuonyesha kwa sababu yeye sasa hako mamlakani atajilipiza kisasi. Hii ni utoto. 
Huku mrengo wa Uhuru Kenyatta ukimlaumu msajili wa vyama vya kisiasa Anderito kwa kuwa kikaragosi cha Ikulu, Kenyatta kutojibu barua hizo huenda kutampa Anderito fursa ya kipekee ya kumpokonya rais huyo mstaafu chama. Hata hivyo Kenyatta na mrengo wake wanaweza kwenda mahakamani au mbele ya jopo la kutatua tofauti za vyama vya kisiasa. J. Uhuru Kenyatta atafuata mkondo upi? Ibrahim Karanja NTV. It is alleged that Uhuru Kenyatta responds to the letter by from the from Nelson Zuya that will make Uhuru Kenyatta appear as if ni mtu mdogo sana in the society. If Uhuru Kenyatta decide to respond to Anderitu, also that will put Uhuru Kenyatta in a very very bizarre position. So, what is the way forward? In this channel, we would like to talk about the way forward and we also like to talk about the response which David Murathe has issued on this matter. Before we do that, I'd like to urge you to please subscribe to this channel if you're a first time viewer or if you're a regular viewer who has not supported this channel by subscribing. Once again, I'd like to appreciate everybody who is making this channel grow. Now on to our analysis. David Murathe has weighed in on this issue and said that Uhuru will not respond to those letters. Uhuru will not respond to those letters. Political analysts believe that if Uhuru fails to respond to the letters, then that would give Andy Rutu an easier chance to take Jubilee from Uhuru Mege Kenyatta party leadership position. That is, if Uhuru Mege Kenyatta responds to the, the letter. If Uhuru Mege Kenyatta responds to Nelson Zuya's letter, Again, that will make Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta appear inferior. And that is not what David Murathe wants to Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta to subject himself to. So, what is the way forward, ladies and gentlemen? This is the reason why this is becoming quite a huge, a very complicated puzzle to Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta. But then, what about if lawyers draft a response to the same? Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta can use is lawyers to draft a response to the same. I think the law permits that. The law permits lawyers to respond to on behalf of Uru Mugia Kenyatta. If that is to be done, then that would mean he tension it Kenyatta and lawyers not may represent the matter. Taking the party leadership position from Uru Mugia Kenyatta will be like an ant climbing a hill, a huge hill, or an ant climbing a mountain. That is not going to be possible. Anderitu knows that that's the case. As to whether Anderitu would like to effect the directive that was given by an acting, someone who self-declared himself as an acting secretary general, that is also one thing that people are waiting to see whether Anderitu will take that direction of using a self-proclaimed acting general of Jubilee. If that is to be done, then that will satisfy the narrative that Andy Ruto has always been used by William Ruto's faction to kill Jubilee or to snatch Jubilee from, uh, from Uru Mugia Kenyatta or to snatch Jubilee from Azimio arrangement. Andy Ruto and the team believe that if they snatch Jubilee from Azimio, then Azimio itakuwa haina powers within the Mount Kenya faction. But under it forgets that Kunayo hii nyingine naitua hii party ya Mwangu area that is also a Mount Kenya party. It will still also be a party to, to beat within the Mount Kenya. So this, this game plan is causing a lot of ripple here, political ripple and as to whether Uhuru Mugia Kenya will respond to this letter, that is something that we are still waiting for. But as you speak and we say here in this analysis that David Murathe normally speaks the mind of Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta. And if David Murata say that Uhuru will not respond, then Uhuru will not respond. Of course, we know that it's about less than 10 days before the NDC meeting. So that is that explains why Sabina Chege, Kanini Kega, and Andy Ritu, of course, with Nelson Zuya, they are working towards making sure that that NDC meeting does not take place. That is the agenda behind this letter. The NDC meeting does not take place. 
So as to whether that will, 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 will carry the day, I don't think that will succeed. I do not think they will succeed in that part because Anderitu will not, succeed, will not uh, be successful in the issue. Sabina Chege hata faulu. Kanini Chege hata faulu. This will be just like any other fight that will not succeed. What we like you to see is Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta convening that meeting. Whether Sabina Chege likes it or not. Whether Anderitu likes it or not. Mind you, there is the political tribunal's party. That tribunal is the only uh, body that has been making sure that any time Anderitu makes suspicious move, that body geuza. So that is the reason why you find that there is some kind of a war, political war brewing here between uh, the faction led by Uru Mugia Kenyatta and the faction led by Sabina Chege. Sabina Chege wants to become the de facto party leader. That's not going to happen. I think if I'm Sabina Chege, I would have just done what, what, what Ruto did. And I said this in his analysis that Ruto took another, formed another party and become a party leader. Sabina Chege can as well follow that direction or join Uda. What is becoming so hard for them? ladies and gentlemen. So perhaps if you're watching this video for the first time, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and don't forget to comment below the comment section. I'd like to hear what's your take uh, as you got to this matter of Office of Regional Political Parties, Nelson Zuya, and Sabina Chege's alliance. So dear viewers, stay safe, stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.